Hi everyone, today is the day to bring your old tube amps back from the attic wherever they are. Grab your basements, your B15s, your Dynacords, whatever you have and let's learn today how to transform them into an amazing sound and channel strip which is completely silent for recording at home. All you need is this little white box coming out of France, so let's check it out! <laughs> Hi, my name is Gregor, our bass player for today is Phil Rehm and this is the Two Notes Torpedo Cap M. This is an ingenious impulse response pedal that uh, goes on your pedal board or even in between your amp and your cabinet. This is so good, especially since the last software update where they added a preamp section to the whole impulse response part. Um, it's, 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 I think it's just the most realistic cabinet simulation for bass out there. There's just one issue, if you want to use your tube amp with it, you still need a cabinet. So no silent recording and this is exactly where the new Captor X uh, steps in because this thing is not just a genius work of software it's also capable to burn the power of your amp and allow you to record silent so this is the replacement for your cabinet but it's also a microphone it's a room it's a lot of things What you just heard is my beloved B25BM from Ampeg in combination with an SVT115 cabinet from the software. On the front of the Torpedo Captor X we have a master volume, controls for voicing and space, we have a headphone out, a mini switch to lower the input if necessary and we have this knob to choose one of the first six presets you can save in the unit. More are available through the app. On the back we have a MIDI input, speaker in and output, stereo XLR outs and a small but very important switch. It has three steps. You can engage the attenuator in two steps, of course. Uh, and this is the part that burns the energy of your amp. So if you want to play live, just leave it off and then this becomes basically just a impulse response DI. <laughs> This was once again my MPEG, but this time in combination with a Mark Base 2x10 cabinet and uh, recorded in a different virtual studio. Now let's have a look at the software, which is of course the heart of the unit. This is what the Torpedo Remote app looks like. You can get this for Mac, PC, Android and iOS, so it's running on all platforms. In it you will find lots of guitar crap that you can delete easily and then you're left with only the good stuff. The app comes with a nice selection of virtual cabinets that you can expand through the TwoNote store if necessary. In my case, because I've been using Two Notes products for years, I already have a nice collection of cabinets that I use on the Cap M or in the Wall of Sound plugin, which is by the way free. Besides the cabinets, you also get to choose from a selection of microphones. And as you can see, you can use two of them at the same time and even do things like placing one behind the cap, which is actually a legit recording technique. In addition to that, you get a gate, a customizable EQ, enhancers for several important frequency ranges and a reverb section, which are the rooms. Remember the two knobs from the unit? With them you can dial the intensity of the rooms and the enhancer from the torpedo. So you can even modify some software settings on the unit itself. The room sounds are amazing by the way. They give you everything from no room at all to treated studios to huge concert halls or even stuff like bathrooms. I mean, why not? This video is probably already longer than our regular reviews, but uh, there's just so many things I want to say about it. It's just so good and I hope my enthusiasm for this whole thing comes through. Actually, I built this little recording station next to my desk. That's why the MPEG has disappeared from the set. And this place is also the burial crown for my broken Joe Dart bobblehead. I think what's so great about the 2 system is that it goes way beyond what an impulse response 
usually is. Other impulse responses seem very two-dimensional compared to this, which is so complex. You get to play with all these cabinets with different sounding, really good sounding microphones. You have these different rooms, you have all these settings. You can really dig in and create or try some very unusual recording techniques that even in real studios are not so easy to accomplish. I mean, you can't easily just change the room and, and try what it sounds in the bathroom or on the hallway or whatever. With this software, with this unit, just try it out. And uh, sometimes, especially when it comes to cabinets, I tend to use cabinets that I don't like in real life. There's one cabinet, a, a, a particular a 115 Eden cap that I really like in the software. I bought it and I don't like the cabinet at all, but it sounds amazing in the software. So uh, recording in life and room is not always the same and uh, this is where this whole system becomes very interesting. The Captor X comes in two versions. This is the 8 ohm and they also make a 16 ohm version. If you need 4 ohms, like for example for a Fender Bassman, uh, what I'm doing, I just I bought a very super cheap uh, another attenuate. I don't care what it sounds like, it's only here to give me the right impedance for the amp and maybe burn some extra power, which is never bad. And uh, yeah, that's very easy workaround. Just one more thing that you definitely need to be aware of is that these units are made for 100 watts tops. That means if you have something like an SVT Classic or Mesa 400 Plus, don't do it. Um, if you have something like a 200 watt amp, I mean, just again, just get a second attenuator for the second channel, split them in half and you're fine. But uh, with louder amps, I personally wouldn't risk it. I mean, of course you can just take care that the volume doesn't go too way up, but it's it's just too risky. I wouldn't want to uh, burn such a unit just for trying that out. However, um, otherwise, super brilliant thing. I mean, if you love tube amps, there's almost no way around getting one of those. It's, it's, it's good. <laughs> That's it from me. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, as always, just put them in the comment section below and see you next time. Bye bye. Oh, and at the end, uh, now of course, comes the beautiful Fender Basement in combination with my Music Rocks Space Ranger Bass.